What's up, Mike? This is Guys. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at a new router from a company called GLI Net. This is the Marble AX3000. The AX3000 is a small router that can be wall mounted or you can place it behind the provided picture frame. And by doing so, this keeps your router out of sight. And if you watch our channel, and I know you do, you've already <laughs> seen our video on the Opal Travel Router. And later on in this video, we'll compare both of these routers. And if you haven't seen the review on this router yet, there'll be a link at the end of this video, so make sure to watch it. And there are some benefits to having a small wireless router. The first benefit is obvious. A smaller wireless router has a smaller footprint, so it can be installed just about anywhere. And the second benefit is smaller routers tend to be more simple to use because there's less ports and connections and sometimes less features. And the third benefit is that smaller routers can actually be used as travel routers, which means that when you go on a vacation, you can take the router to the airport, cruise ship, or hotel. And all you have to do is configure the router to the hotel Wi-Fi or the cruise ship Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. So in today's video, we're gonna test the Marvel AX3000 and all its features, and we're gonna test the range and the speed as well. And then lastly, we'll compare it to the smaller Opal router. The AX3000 includes OpenWRT, OpenVPN, WireGuard, Bark, and AgGuard. It also includes parental controls and three one gig ports. And the AX3000 is priced at $89.99. So what exactly do you get with a Marble AX3000? Well, you get some documentation, which includes the easy setup guide, and it also includes a picture frame. And the Marble AX3000 can be installed behind it. So basically you can hide your wireless router. Pretty cool. And this picture frame is made entirely of plastic. And this frame does include a colorful picture, but you could personalize it with your own unique picture. And here's the star of the show, the Marble AX3000. And the AX3000 has plenty of ventilation for cooling. On the front of the AX3000, we have a DC power connection, a WAN port, two LAN ports, and a reset button. And underneath the router is some mounting hardware. This also includes a flat style ethernet cable, another mounting bracket, and you also get a power cord, which includes the US standard adapter. And lastly, you get some mounting screws and wall anchors. So that's everything you get with a Marble AX3000. The one intriguing thing about this router is its size and shape. It's basically perfect for travel. So it's a home router that could be a travel router. Very cool. And this also includes a unique photo frame where you hide the router behind it. Like so. And that way you'll never see your router because it's discreetly hidden. So if you're not a big fan of looking at your routers and switches, then this is a perfect idea. It's functional, but it's hidden. So now we're gonna set up the AX3000 and test it. And don't forget at the end of the video, we'll compare it to the Opal Travel Router. And make sure to watch this review as well. There'll be a link at the end of this video. So first, plug in the power to the router. Then you wanna download the GL iNet app. Then install and open it. Next, allow the app to take pictures and record audio. And now you can scan the QR code on the back of the router. Now the app will take you through the setup process. And one of my favorite features about this router is the easy setup process. This app will automatically find your router. So then you connect to the router's Wi-Fi, type in the default password, and you're good to go. Now connect to the Wi-Fi. And go ahead and tap the allow this time, and now you're connected without internet. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So we have two options here. You can connect your modem to the router's WAN port via ethernet cable, and then your router will have internet. And the second option is to connect to the local Wi-Fi. And this option would be is if you were using it as a travel router, like say on a cruise ship or maybe a hotel or airport. You would simply connect the router to the local Wi-Fi. And to do that, open a browser, and we use Brave, and type in the IP address of the router. And that information is on the back of the router, along with the SSID, and default password. Now we'll set up the router. You'll choose your language, and then you'll type in a brand new admin password. And please do not use password for the password. Next, go to your phone's wireless network settings and look for the local Wi-Fi network that you wanna use. For instance, like a cruise ship. Connect to the network with the password, and now the Marble AX3000 has internet. So now let's take a look at the admin screen and all the features. So on the main admin screen, you'll have all the networking information about the AX3000. And this includes the wireless SSIDs, both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. And if you click onto one of these icons, you can modify the wireless network, like changing the SSID and or password. 
And above these icons, you also have AdGuard, IPv6, VPN, and Tor. At the top left, you have the multi-WAN icon, which allows for multiple network interfaces at the same time. And below that icon, this shows your current devices connected to the router. And going further down below, you'll have information about your Ethernet ports, both the WAN and the LAN. Now at the top right, these three bars contain all the features of the AX3000. There are a plethora of features on the AX3000, and I'll show you the most important features that you need to know. So first we have VPN, which allows you to set up a VPN on this router. And it also contains WireGuard client, WireGuard server, and Tor. Next is the Applications tab, and here you'll find AdGuard Home, Parental Control, Dynamic DNS, and Tail Scale. The next tab is the Network tab, and this contains the firewall, NAT settings, and basically all your network settings. And the next tab is the System tab, and from here you can change your time zone, you can change the admin password, and you can even reset your firmware. And the next four tabs are Language, Theme, Reboot, and Logout. So now we're going to do a speed test as well as a range test. And we have the Marble AX3000 in the center of our home. And one thing to note, the AX3000 has four internal antennas. And we'll find out how well they work. Okay, from 25 feet away, with clear line of sight to the router, we achieved 80 megabits per second download and 53 megabits per second upload. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we got 440 megabits per second download and 240 megabits per second upload. Okay, 25 feet away, with no line of sight to the router in a different room, we got 68 megabits per second download and 52 megabits per second upload. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we got 440 megabits per second download and 356 megabits per second upload. Okay, now at 100 feet away, with no line of sight to the router, we barely achieved a signal at all, and our speeds were atrocious. With less than two megabits per second download, and less than one megabits per second upload. Just terrible. And on the five gigahertz band, we achieved 176 megabits per second download, and 77 megabits per second upload. And our last test was 75 feet away, outside, by our pool, with clear line of sight to the router. We achieved about 45 megabits per second download and 31 megabits per second upload. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we achieved 167 megabits per second download and 77 megabits per second upload. So like I promised, we're going to test the Opal Travel Router with the exact four same tests. Okay, from 25 feet away, with clear line of sight to the router, we achieved 50 megabits per second download and 42 megabits per second upload. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we got 166 megabits per second download and 264 megabits per second upload. Okay, 25 feet away, with no line of sight to the router in a different room, we got 52 megabits per second download and 33 megabits per second upload. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we achieved 119 megabits per second download and 214 megabits per second upload. Okay, now at 100 feet away, with no line of sight to the router, we achieved a measly 2 megabits per second download and about 3 megabits per second upload. Pretty bad. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we got 58 megabits per second download and 70 megabits per second upload. And our last test was 75 feet away, outside, by our pool, with clear line of sight to the router. We achieved almost 44 megabits per second download and about 20 megabits per second upload. And on the 5 gigahertz band, we achieved 37 megabits per second download and 56 megabits per second upload. So as far as comparing the Marble AX3000 to the Opal Travel Router, the Marble AX3000 was slightly faster at closer range, but at longer ranges, it was about the same as the Opal Travel Router. And the only clear differences between these two routers is that the AX3000 is larger and has no external antennas or USB port. However, the AX3000 does have AdGuard, and the Opal Travel Router does not. And the Opal Travel Router is really meant for travel. It's smaller, it comes with more wireless options, like repeater, tethering, and cellular. However, because the AX3000 is small, it can be used as a travel router. And as far as my review goes, the Marble AX3000 is a solid router. It's not super fast, 
But if you have a small home, apartment, or condo, and you want something simple that just works, then the Marble AX3000 is a fantastic choice. And we'll have both product links listed below. And make sure to check out the Opal Travel Router video. And with that, guys and gals, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.